If you have Enterprise Miner, you might not realize how easily you can create data mining models with SAS Studio's Rapid Predictive Modeler task. Watch this seven minute video and you'll see how. I'm Beth Ebersole with SAS, and this is the Technical Insights and Expertise Series. SAS Rapid Predictive Modeler is useful for business analysts, statisticians, and data scientists and coders. Business analysts generally want a fast and accurate answer to their business question. They usually don't want to spend a lot of time messing around with the data or choosing different algorithms. So SAS Rapid Predictive Modeler finds them this quick answer in a very accurate manner. Statisticians like me, we usually want to look under the covers. We want to use our expertise. We want to use our training and understanding of statistics. So SAS Rapid Predictive Modeler creates an enterprise miner flow that we can go into and edit and mess around with to improve models. Data scientists and coders generally want to work with code. SAS Rapid Predictive Modeler also creates, co creates code which serves as a template for them to go in and have something to start with. Here I am in SAS Studio. The first thing I'm going to do is upload my data. I right click, upload files, and choose files. I'll select the file I want, open, and upload. Now all I have to do is drag it onto my workspace. So here I have my data. It's a pretty typical data mining data set. I have a target. So this, in this case, it's target part failure, which is whether the part failed or not. These are automobile parts. One means it failed, zero means it didn't. So it's a binary uh, dependent variable. I also have a part number, unique identifier, and I have a bunch of different input variables. These are what I use to develop my model. So I can then take these input variables, if I have a brand new data set that doesn't know whether the parts failed or not, and find out the likelihood that those parts are gonna fail. Next, I go to my tasks, open up my tasks, my data mining, and double click Rapid Predictive Modeler. My data are here, so I'm gonna bring in my dependent variable, my target part failure, and I'm going to add a couple additional roles. So, for example, I have some lats and longs, some latitudes and longitudes, and I want to exclude them from the model. It's not really appropriate to use them in this model. I'm going to add my unique identifier, which is my part number. So you can see as I've been filling out this data tab using the point and click, this code is being developed behind the scenes. Now I can go to my Options tab, and I'm going to pick Advanced because I want to use the most advanced methods. Behind the scenes, it's going to use regressions, decision trees, uh, machine learning techniques like neural networks. And I'm going to add some additional reports that I want to see here. Now I'm ready to determine where my output goes. I'm going to save my Enterprise Miner project data. And I'm actually going to open Notepad here, and I'm going to Control C and Control V my names of my my name of my project data and my folder name. And I'm doing this because I don't want to make any typos. I'm also going to export scoring code and I'm going to score input my input data set. Now I'm ready to run. Here are my results. These are the same kinds of results I see with Enterprise Miner. I have selected variable importance. I have my cumulative lift chart, model gains chart, my ROC plot, and you can see my curve is high and up and to the left, indicating 
I've maximized my true positives while minimizing my false positives. My KS statistics look pretty good, 0.72 for my validation data and 0.73 for my training data. And they're also very similar, which is good because that indicates that I wasn't overfitting in my training data, not severely. And now I can go into Enterprise Miner and find the process flow that was created. I'm going to select New Project, Next, and now I'm going to go back to my notepad. And I'm going to copy in the exact name. And I have the same server directory. I'll go to Next and I see the selected project exists. It may have been created by another user. Well, I am that other user. I just created that with Rapid Predictive Modeler in SAS Studio. So that's fine. I click Yes, Next, Finish. And now I have access to the whole Enterprise Miner flow that I created. Just opening the diagram, and I can see I have a complex process here. With things like decision trees, uh, interaction detection, stepwise regression, main effects regression, regression, machine learning like neural networks, and then I have selected the best overall model. I can go in and change, add nodes, change defaults, do whatever I want. For more information on how to use SAS Studio for data mining and many other things, go to SAS Studio Tutorials or SAS Studio's user's, user's Guide. I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to check back with the Technical Insights and Expertise series for more information, demonstrations, and examples across a wide range of topics on SaaS software.